very much. Well, good morning. morning. Always a blessing for me to be with you, and um, uh, we've got so many friends here. Let's go ahead and take our Bibles, and let's go ahead and turn to Proverbs 29. And if you will, let's stand together out of respect for God's Word. While you're turning and getting ready to stand, once you catch on that everybody else is standing, then eventually... Uh, but, but anyway, um, once you, while you're doing that, I appreciate those who have been praying for my wife. Uh, how many of you have known my wife was sick and you were praying on occasion at least four? Like quite a few. And so, but we're, we're seeing some progress and uh, the Lord's opened up a door for us to come to Ocala, Florida for a month. So I'm going to be around for a month if you need your car washed, you need anything done. <laughs> And um, I'm going to be around about a month. And I had three weeks in Washington State that got moved to later on the year. And it was just all moved before this opportunity came up. We've got a great doctor who's doing a lot of testing, and we've already made progress. So here uh, a month ago, we were told she had Lou Gehrig's. And that uh, get ready, it's not going to be an easy road. And then... This week we were told, no, it's not Lou Gehrig's. She just needs to quit eating too much pizza. No, that's not it. She, she's got something else going on, but it's not uh, life-threatening like that. So I'm happy about that, at least not that we know of yet. So maybe next week we'll find out she has two days left, and then we'll cry. But right now, things are looking positive. So I'm encouraged. So I told my wife yesterday, I said, you are the prettiest uh, handicapped lady. I've ever-